Steve Gamash here. Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have is the Kudosaki Algami Super Kudouchi Sujihiki 270mm knife. So that's a lot of stuff right there. But uh, so what this is, the Sujihiki is or Suji is a slicing knife. These are double beveled. Uh, so they're ambidextrous versus a traditional uh, Yanagiba, which is a single bevel. So the uh, construction on these, they've got a core steel of Algami Blue Super Reactive High Carbon Steel that takes a great edge and will put a nice, uh, just retain edge retention is really good on that. And it's a good combination of sharpening, uh, I wouldn't say easy to sharpen, but not bad at all on sharpening with decent stones and yet it has quite good edge retention. So it's a good, great kitchen steel, kitchen knife steel. Heat treat, they take it around 62, 63, so not super high. Makes it a little bit easier to sharpen uh, and a little bit more forgiving. The construction has soft uh, stainless cladding on either side of that hard core steel. And it looks like the stainless, I can see layers there. It's polished up, but I think I see layers on the top. So uh, may or may not cover the top. But uh, this cladding also has a blacksmith or kudauchi finish uh, on this blade flat here and then you can definitely see where it's ground down towards the edge and then they've got their uh, finish on it and then there's the core steel and the cladding line right there. The weight and dimensions on these can vary just a bit from knife to knife. Uh, this particular one is 158 grams or 5.6 ounces and the overall length is, uh, a, or I should say the edge length, excuse me, is about 270 and about 10.6 inches and the overall length is about 425 so again 5.6 ounces on the weight pretty pretty light uh, this is a kind of a really nicely ground thin at the tip thin at the edge uh, blade so for the size that's pretty darn light trust me um, the spine thickness a little thicker coming out of the handle uh, as is the style so it's about three millimeters i got coming out of the handle and then it went down to about 2.1 halfway down the knife and it just pretty much has a really classic distal taper. If you look, it just starts thinning out. And then this gets pretty thin at the tip. Here's the choil shot. So this is a high performance grind on these. Here's the choil shot. The blade height, about 40, a little, little under 41 millimeters on this particular blade. And it's real pretty, isn't it? It's a really nice looking knife. The cladding line is really cool. The handle is uh, octagonal, ambidextrous, rosewood with a black pack of wood ferrule on it. And uh, nice fit and finish on this. And they've got a good glue up job here going into the handle. Uh, the circumference I got is about 68, 69 millimeters right there. which These typically are slightly smaller uh, to fit the knife. You've got his signature kind of curved choil the back of the blade into the neck so there's always a lot of spot here for your finger for a pinch grip balance point on this is going to be fairly close to a pinch grip so there's the balance point right about there and for me that's just about where my pinch grip is so that means this is going to be pretty neutral you know th these sometimes you have different styles that you might use with them but uh, you could definitely use this as a cutting board knife for general product some people like to kind of multitask these uh, let's get our beauty shot here going this is going to be a little harder to show being so long but let's try it here there we go so very interesting kind of a almost a nishiji or pearskin type finish on these and they're all going to be a little different there's laser engraved kanji on the right side of the blade. This is a good example of the blade road or grind down to the edge and then what that wavy line is is the cladding <clears throat> giving way to the core steel which is a little bit more highly polished the material difference there. And then this is the left side of the blade. So this is stainless clad so as this uh, core steel starts to uh, patina and get some color to it uh, you'll get a really nice contrast uh, between the two materials. So it'll, this knife will really take on some additional character over time if you decide to keep, you know, keep letting that patina build up on that Algami Super Steel. But here's the left side of the blade. Easy to see the grind there. 
Um, but, 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 what else? Fit and finish, nicely done. Uh, polish on the spine here, which is it's kind of a neat. You've got the Kuda Uchi on the side, but then you've got the silver polished spine, so it's a nice contrast. The edges have been rounded a little bit, and a nice job polishing up this area here. It's been worked on all the way around, and a little bit smooth on the edges, so uh, very nice fit and finish on these. Out of the box edge, I'll say it's a 6 out of 10. It's a pretty good out of the box edge on here. And um, blades are straight, grinds are nice, as is usual per Kotosaki san So here is the edge profile. If you want to use it for some board work, you can of course do that. You got enough height back here uh, for some clearance there if you hold it correctly. And uh, here's what the edge profile looks like. So you could definitely do some board work with this. All right, camera's hunting a little bit on focus. Let me move this up a little bit. There we go. But there's what your head profile looks like. So you could do a little bit of low rocking with this. Definitely some push-pull cutting, chopping. So yeah, this could do some general purpose duty as well as slicing tasks. So if you wish to employ it in such a method, so there we have uh, a really nice looking traditional package with stainless cladding for some easier maintenance. So this is the Kudu, excuse me, Kurosaki Aogami Super AS KU Sujihiki 270 millimeter knife.